Hello, hello, viewers from across the internet, and welcome back to another video. I always say this, the AI space has been evolving and moving in such a rapid direction lately that it's really impossible to keep up. But that's where I come in. Today, I'm going to be offering you guys a video that covers pretty much all of the AI news from the past week or so. There is still a few things that I had to leave out of the video because the video would just simply be too long. But like I say, if you really want to keep up to date on the latest and greatest of AI news, please go join the Discord server that's linked down in the description below because I literally have an AI news section that's updated daily with the latest crazy AI news. And by the way, everything I found in this video today was found on that part of my Discord. So thank you to everyone who contributes to that, by the way. But boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of AI to talk about. I think that this is going to be a reoccurring theme like once a week or once every two weeks or so. I'm going to just make a big video on all of the main AI news that has been going on as late and it's going to be like a little series kind of a thing. So welcome to the first one of those. Google went crazy on AI this week. Some interesting things in the Dream Booth space as well as character.ai, which I've covered on this channel in the past and we'll make another video about in the future with a little bit more of a deep dive. Anyways, let's just get right into the latest and greatest of AI. So the first one that I'm going to talk about today is character.ai. Of course, this is where you can chat and create with all of these different AI characters. Some of the best chatbots I have ever used have been created with character.ai. It's really easy to make them as well. I highly recommend you go try character.ai. This is one of those websites that consistently blows my mind with AI. But anyways, they've added a new feature that I want to discuss, and that is basically someone told me it was any of these featured characters. I know it works with this one Pumbaa, and it definitely works with a few more. But now some characters are image generating. Okay, so they, they show some of the main included ones. Pumbaa, Blockcraft Adventure, character cards. These are some of the characters that include the new image generation that character.ai has added. They generate images along with every single text response. So for Pumbaa's example, basically you'd see whatever Pumbaa is talking about in their latest text generation. They say they were motivated by the many exciting ideas from this community about how fun it would be to have images alongside the conversation. This, of course, uses stable diffusion. What else but stable diffusion? From captivating campaigns to creative collaborations to cute critters, we hope this feature can help bring your interactions more to life. And it certainly does. I have noticed, though, that this has slowed down the website in general quite a bit because of the server load. And it's only a small set of characters at the moment that are able to do this and they're looking for feedback on it. So it's kind of like a little beta thing. Current limitations, lack of consistency across images, quality and details of the image, of course, and just knowledge in general that the images produce. However, I found it to be quite good, to be honest, and considering that it is just stable diffusion. So let's just give it a chance with Pumbaa. So say, hello, Pumbaa, what did you get up to today? Hello, AI. Okay, I don't know, it's referring to me as AI. I don't know, last time I checked, I wasn't AI generated, but you guys might say otherwise. Today, Pumbaa played with other dogs in the park, and later today, Pumbaa and my human ate pizza. The human has been very sad lately, and I try to be happy in place, so my human gets happy again. And we got this little picture of Pumbaa, which honestly is pretty good for being a stable diffusion generated image here. That's just right off the bat based off of this text. And then it gets to this. We have, uh, they are connected. We could say that. Oh, and then this one's really nice. Pumbaa sitting in the leaves in the woods. This one's really nice, so I'm going to rate that one very, very highly. And then we've also got this one with, I guess this is Humans Frisbee. This one's really good too, honestly. It's very close to the text. So yeah, you kind of get the idea here. You can generate nice images. I have not tried Blockcraft Adventure, but this seems pretty interesting. Small room with a pickaxe on the floor, note on the table. The note says you're our last hope. Find and slay the Ender Dragon. Break a tree. Oh, I spelled tree wrong. Whoops. Tree falls over with an earthquake causing a boom. You stand amongst the now fallen tree and grab some of the wood. Okay, well, that is definitely not what we expected to see. Any of these? That sounds a little bit better. Not too bad, though. Yeah, a little tree. You broke the tree, you get one sapling. I guess that's supposed to be a sapling. Intr okay, this one's actually really good. So it's showing us sort of what's going on. So you can fake play Minecraft instead of just playing the actual game. <laughs> Anyways, this is a really cool little feature added to character.ai that I thought I should mention. I really do recommend you guys check out character.ai though. It's completely free. You can make characters super easy and the characters are extremely advanced and intelligent. Check it out. 
All right, now we're moving into our Dream Booth stuff here. So Facetune, which is a popular app on the iOS and Android app store, has added their own version of Dream Booth. And as far as I know, I was able to use it for completely free. So you guys download it and let me know what you think. However, they only allow you to upload a maximum of four images. And it's really, there's not a lot of settings or anything. It just kind of generates stuff. It still works pretty decently. It's still fun to mess around with, but it's not as advanced as something like Astray, which I covered in my main dream booth video or this next dream booth app that I actually was just notified about in the creator's email about it. He wanted me to make a full video about it, but I figured I'd just mention it in here. If I ever do another dream booth video, I'll just mash everything together in one big dream booth thing, but I just made a dream booth video. So yeah, the Facetune one is very easy to use and is free for now as long as as far as I could see. But this next one is $30, but I guess you could do over a hundred avatars. And I think the generation is also free and it does look to be a really nice and complete version of dream booth but it's pretty pricey at 30 bucks they allow you 10 to 20 photos of you in different photos have our ai train our ai train it's model based on your photos guidelines pick at least 10 photos yeah make sure your head blah 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 no glasses it actually will work pretty decently with glasses but yeah, this one, this is like a complete Dream Booth app, and I believe this one's also available on iOS and Android as well. It's called AI Avatar Profile Pick Maker. So yeah, this is like full Dream Booth in an app on your phone if you're interested in that, but it's pricey at 30 bucks. Astria is still cheaper, but this one also says you can do hundreds of avatars with just paying the 30 bucks. So maybe it could be more worth it if you want to do more than one avatar. I'm not too sure. I might cover this more in the future, but I figured I'd let you guys know about these two new Dream Booth apps that are available on the iOS and Android app store. Now we're getting into the larger kahuna here of the bunch. Google did this huge AI presentation. This was streamed literally one day ago. It's about an hour long. I will link it down in the description. I highly suggest you guys go check it out. I personally, I haven't watched the whole thing, okay? I wish I had more time to do this stuff, but they talk about a lot of really interesting things coming to their AI. They mentioned Dream Booth, for example, here, which we just talked about. They mentioned video. They mentioned the whole shebang. AI Test Kitchen, which we're going to get into. This is, this is really getting exciting, guys. Google Imogen, their crazy... AI generator that seems to be better than literally anything we've ever seen before is coming to AI Test Kitchen. I'm going to get into the tweet about that soon. But yeah, you'll be able to use Google Imogen. Apparently, it's coming in the future. It's going to be very limited, though. I don't know who's going to be able to get in. They probably talk about it in this presentation, but it's coming to the public and I assume to the whole public in the future, which is just going to wipe the floor with everyone. It's exciting. So yeah, I suggest you guys go check this presentation where they talk about a lot of the main stuff. It's a nice little presentation. I got to watch the whole thing. I haven't got the chance to do it yet. But the CEO of Google made a few tweets that we shall talk about today. So this crazy video they posted, I'm going to talk about. From today's AI event, we announced our Imogen text to image model is coming soon to AI Test Kitchen, which is an app that you can download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store, which I am going to download today. And this is going to allow you to play with all their AI models. Apparently Lambda's on there. I'm not sure how you get invited to be in each access point for it. I might have to make a video about that. Apparently yeah, Lambda's already on there and Imogen is coming to AI Test Kitchen. So download this app and we will see if we can get access. And for the first time we shared an AI generated super resolution video. So this is different than their little Imogen video, which are these little like 30 FPS snippet videos that were like 10 seconds long at most. This is a 45 second generated super resolution video that is based off of text. And this video is mind blowing. I have to share it with you guys. So this uses Fenaki to generate long coherent videos from text prompts and Imogen video to increase quality. So this is like a mashup of different uh, AIs together. And this this, this is just absolutely astounding. I'm going to remove my face for this one so it's better viewing for you guys. So as we start here, essentially the text will pop up over here and the image, the video will actually change in real time based off of the new text that pops up. So it's like you generate an AI story, it turns that story into a full video. This is a breakthrough in this technology. We start with a blue balloon stuck in the branches of Redwood Tree. We can clearly see that that's what's going on. Camera pans from the tree, which is happening right now. We can see the tree with the single balloon ball to a, the zoo entrance. So now we should be, apparently be seeing a zoo entrance. It looks like a building. And that is, I guess, the entrance to a zoo. 
it moves we quickly into the zoo so we can see it's it's moved from that previous state into the zoo so this was like the zoo entrance moves flies over into the zoo into a beautiful garden this is first person view of the beautiful garden the head of a giraffe emerges so that happens right after the beautiful garden we can see it smoothly pans over to the head of the giraffe which is just crazy coherent how it is and that's a pretty dang good generated giraffe and then apparently the giraffe is going to walk towards the tree we can see the giraffe begin to walk towards the tree we it zooms in towards the giraffe's mouth here which we could also see and then the giraffe gets close to a branch and picks a blue balloon that was there previously so we can see it grabs it with its mouth and apparently now the giraffe has that blue balloon so yeah, this is just an insane breakthrough, a 45 second AI generated video based off of text. This has never been done before. It's so exciting and I can't wait to try AI like this out in the future. And you can just see the whole video. The giraffe walks up, picks up that same exact blue balloon and is just munching on it. It is crazy that now this is possible with AI technology. I am so blown away and I am so excited. So yeah, that's probably my favorite piece that came out of this new Google AI presentation. My favorite thing they're working along. Also with that Imogen thing, I'm very excited. Google also has this audio LM language model approaching to audio generation, but this was actually quite a while ago. This was October 6th. So this one's a little bit older. Google has just been taking it crazy with this AI stuff right now. They really seem to be in first place in terms of AI, and then OpenAI is also doing some really cool stuff, though. There's just so much cool AI going on in general, but yeah, let's take a listen to this AI-generated music. Hey, lording, answered Wolf. We know not how to call you lord or lady. Whoa, okay, I thought it was just going to be the piano. This is like my first reaction to this. I just saw this post in my Discord server. This is like text. Okay, speech continuation. Nay, nay, lording, answered Wolf. We know not how to call you lord or lady. We have lived too long in the forest. Wow. Okay, that's just crazy. It took this part, which was something that someone said, and then it continued the, the rest of what he was going to say accurately and copied his voice as well in a very coherent way. So that's just spooky. And are now... Our first impressions of people are, in nine cases out of ten, mere spectacle reflections of the actuality of things. But they are impressions of... Some I can't even tell the difference between the non-generated and the generated audio. That is just Something ridiculous. And more Piano continuation. You can't even tell. It's just doing it perfectly. That is ridiculous. Google's always trying to blow our minds with this stuff, man. Oh, that company, man. Who knows what they're gonna do. We've also got another example. Perfection. You can't tell that it was generated by AI. You just have no idea. Literally no clue. That is just craziness. So yeah, that's uh, Google's AI audio LM language modeling approach to audio generation. I'll link it down in the description. I really don't have the time, unfortunately, to give you an in-depth speech about this whole thing. But yeah, you can see from the example, this is crazy. AI is evolving at a rapid rate. And folks, model.ai has announced that they've raised... 8.4 million dollars so this company model.ai using funds from microsoft's venture fund are aiming to improve something like the debugging process for video games which of course is a pretty big task especially for larger AAA games like we've seen with the release of cyberpunk if you guys play video games you'll know cyberpunk was a disaster because of its bug release and they also want to do quality assurance testing that's done by ai as well and i think this could definitely greatly improve the process of creating video games for these companies and this is a good thing i think but yeah this is pretty exciting and it's linked down in the description if you want to learn more so yes folks let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the description below i'm interested to hear your thoughts for me personally the google stuff has been the most exciting they just did this huge announcement about ai and i'm really excited to see what they have in store for us in the future even though Google is a scary company sometimes, they really seem to be leading the AI space just out of nowhere. Download that Test Kitchen app, guys, and let's see if we can get generating with Imogen as soon as possible. I'm very excited for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this video provided some interesting information here and updated you guys on the AI world. If you want to learn more, please consider joining my Discord with the link in the description below and heading over to the AI News channel for the latest and greatest of AI news. And yeah.
I'll see you guys next time.